like to just use whatever chicken nuggets I have on hand. And this time it was Alphabet, which is my personal favorite. And then I just like to use the roasted turkey gravy because I think it tastes the best. And making your own gravy is just really hard and honestly, pretty annoying. Okay, so I just use two cans of that. Then I like to take my stovetop turkey flavor. And make sure the seasoning gets spread out evenly. You wanna make sure you put this in between the gravy layer so that the gravy and this can help cook. Beautiful gravy. Oh, satisfying sound. Right on top. I'm gonna spread some of this around to make sure it all gets an even coverage. Now we're not gonna add any additional liquids to this because this gravy, I'm telling you, is gonna be plenty. Perfect. Bring in six cups of water. I'm gonna take my favorite home style mashed potatoes. I think these have the best flavor and they're just the most convenient. Now this is gonna be the easiest dinner that you ever make for your family. Because here, we're all moms here, right? We're all, we have crazy busy schedules and you want your kids to have something that tastes gourmet but is easy for mom to make. This meal is probably one of the quickest, easiest, most healthy meals you can make for your family. So it takes no time at all. Feels like it's a very good comfort food. Oh my gosh, it's so comforty. It's a, a cold day out, You're, you have a blizzard where you are, no problem. I'm gonna start mixing these together. You're gonna notice at first you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is too much liquid. It's not. Because of the way instant potatoes work, just keep stirring. Don't give up and you're gonna get thick. So by the point where you're like, oh my gosh, this isn't working properly, it is working properly. You just need to keep going, keep the faith, and believe that these will be mashed potatoes. Look how thick they're getting. Mm. And this is what I would consider a hot dish. Ooh, my buddy wants some. A hot dish and a chicken pot pie, something similar to that. So I used three packets because I've got a big family to feed. We've got growing boys, and I'm sure you do too. Also, who doesn't love leftovers? Leftovers are probably my most favorite thing in the entire world. Now, I never heat up my leftovers, but I know some people do. I like to eat my leftovers cold. Last step is just the cheese topping. I'm just gonna make sure you get an even little spread. And I like to salt and pepper it after I make my food because you know, everybody likes different amounts of salt and pepper. So this is about what I like to use. My friend really wants some of this. It's good, huh buddy? It's so good. Okay, so we just gonna make sure we do this. Spread it all out nicely. I'm gonna put it straight into the oven. So what you really wanna make sure is that your cheese is melty, your potatoes are cooked. Look at this, the stuffing's coming out the sides. I'm gonna cut into this and you're gonna see all the different layers that we've created. So I like to just do big squares because this is a big dish. When you see the layers of this though, you're gonna freak out. Cause remember there's chicken in here. Wow. Look how good that sticks together. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? This looks incredible. It's incredible. Look at those layers.